Chuangzhou, a pair among Hong Kong's outlying islands. The story behind our painting. That day, we went to Changzhou Island to sketch and paint. The boat we took was a ferry from Central to Changzhou Island while May War. Our original plan was to take the 8 a.m. express ferry, but we arrived at the ferry terminal a little earlier, and the regular ferry arrived just in time. So we took that ferry, which left at 7:40 a.m. The lower deck where we were was almost empty, and we sat in the window seats. As soon as the ferry left the Maywall Pier, our little Dancy fell asleep in her baby carriage. Looking out the window at the slowly passing landscape, we started to feel a little sleepy. So we closed our eyes and tried to rest, but the ferry quickly reached Changzhou Island. Changzhou Island. Is located between Nantou Island and Nanma Island, with an area of 2.45 square kilometers and about 30,000 inhabitants, making the most densely populated of the outlying islands. Most of the houses on Changzhou Island are small three-story buildings. Built by local residents in different colors, many white, some of which are growing with traces of age on their outline walls because of their age. There are no motor vehicles on the island except for official cars, and residents travel by bicycle or on foot. There was a small store around the corner that looks like the place where we used to buy snacks with our pocket money when we were kids. One of the most famous and unique traditional events on Changzhou Island is the bun snatching hill, a folk custom on Changzhou Island that originated in the Mid Qing Dynasty. And has been around for over two hundred years. This activity starts every spring of the Great Temple Festival of Changzhou. Many buns are steamed out of flour and piled up in front of the North Emperor Temple to form a bun mountain for the gods. After the ceremony, people rush to the bun mountain and grab the buns hanging on the mountain. The villagers believe that the more buns they eat, the better luck they will have. And after 1978, the government decreed that the bun snatching should be ended and replaced by a form distribution to the participants. Since 2005, however, the event has been revived and is held on the eighth day of the fourth month of the Hong Kong Lunar Calendar, or Buddha's birthday. During the festival, islanders fully participate in dragon dances, lion dances, drumming, and other activities. With a level of entertainment even higher than that of the Lunar New Year, in addition to the bun snatching competition in front of the Bak Tai Temple, the float parade on the main street is also a must-see highlight. The Great Changzhou Temple Festival was chosen by Time Magazine as one of the ten wittiest festivals in the world for its unique colors. We bought a peace bun for lunch. It was actually a simple flower bun with red letters printed on the top of the bun. 
we introduced our daughter to the Changzhou Grand Temple Festival and the arranging of the peace bonds. Later, our daughter drew a peace bond on the beach with a tree branch. But the bun looked like a ball rather than a bun. Snack bars selling big fish balls can be found all over the island, the most famous being the one near the pier. The big fish balls in Changzhou are also very big, rivaling those in Nanma. So big that some of the thinner bamboo skewers can only skew two big fish balls each. In fact, Changzhou Island's famous food is glutinous rice patty. Among them, mango-flavored glutinous rice patty is the best, with sweet glutinous rice wrapped around the whole mango flesh. In Changzhou Island, there is another food called the chicken sheet wine, which is wrapped in bamboo leaves for five Hong Kong dollars per roll. The name chicken sheet wine is unpleasant, but very delicious. It is a typical southern snap. It's made of of young chicken sheet wine stems and leaves chopped it. Mixed with glutinous rice flour, steamed, green color, mixed with coconut milk, sugar to eat, very tasty, but also warm stomach, the roll of the blood. Moving on, we went on to our sketching assignment for the day. Slowly, the beauty of Changzhou Island kept coming into view. The dense green woods, red sandstone rocks, and blue sea water made a beautiful painting. The roadside is full of wild plants, a tender green in the sunlight. The common dogwood of our childhood, which are very rare to see in the city now. The island's wildland hills look very natural and full of vitality. The yellow and white wild flowers in the sunshine add colors to the island. We saw the sea from afar, and saw the waves lapping on top of the reefs, stirring up the waves. The water was turquoise, and the sea breeze was cool. Overhead, several eagles kept circling in the sky, adding some magnificent beauty to Changzhou Island. After passing through the narrow street full of dry seafood and many food stalls, we reached the east side of the island. This is a popular beach for many people in Hong Kong. East Bay Beach, East Bay Beach, the largest beach in Changzhou, has crystal clear water and a beautiful view. Based on archaeological excavations and the Changzhou stone carving found in 1917 in the southeast of Changzhou. It can be inferred that the first people lived in Changzhou at least three thousand years ago. Like the prehistoric stone carvings found elsewhere in Hong Kong, the Changzhou stone carvings may be associated with the Shang ancestors' rituals for weather and prayers for calm winds and waves. A light rain started to fall, and no one on the beach left for shelter. But both adults and children had fun in the rain. We pushed the straw that our daughter, little Dancy, was sitting in, and walked and drew as we slowly made our way to the other side of the beach, Guanyin Bay Beach. 
Changzhou is the hometown of Li Lai Shen, Hong Kong's first Olympic gold medalist and famous wind surfer, who was born and raised in Changzhou. She won the first Olympic gold medal in Hong Kong's history at the 1996 Olympic Games in Outland. And upon her return to Changzhou, she was celebrated by the islanders in a ceremony attended by 10,000 people, which became a popular story. There are many temples on Changzhou Island, and there are four temples of our most revered goddess, Goddess Tianhou. Namely, the North Shi Tianhou Ancient Temple, built in 1767, the Landan Tianhou Ancient Temple, built in 1772, the Saiwan Tianhou Ancient Temple, built in 1772, and the Yushu Gong of Tianhou, built in 1783. This time we went to Changzhou Pakshi Tianhou Temple, which has been classified as a Grade Three historic building in Hong Kong. The temple was restored in 1889 and 1968. The four-legged bronze tripod outside the gate was cast in 1784. And is inscribed with the words Changzhou. We promised our daughter Little Dancy to take her to see the other three Tianhou temples in Changzhou at a later date, as well as Taekwai One Beach, Surf Beach, Pakzhou One Beach, Sai One Beach. And the treasure cave, where the famous Hong Kong pirate Chang Bao Zai hid his treasures in Changzhou in the 19th century. After sketching on two beaches, we pushed the baby stroller Little Dancy was in, and continued sketching and painting on the islands, hills, and fields. The greatest achievement of Changzhou is the preservation of the natural beauty of the island. Changzhou Island, with its traditional culture and its customs, will make everyone who comes here feel the most simple and traditional side of Hong Kong style.